Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is CarQ. Welcome to the CarCives, the CarQ Archives YouTube channel where I upload live coaching and replay reviews from my stream at twitch.tv slash CarQ. Today is October 16, 2020. As of this recording, looks like we're reviewing some JR, some J Silly from Itis. 50,000 points, by the way, to get these replays. So if uh, you want your gameplay reviewed by me, come on over to the stream, save up 50,000 points, and... um. You two can get your stuff reviewed for me. Anyways, Itis007. Let's Hi, see YouTube what Monka we can do. Steer. To either roast or help One. Mr. Itis over here. Cut. Oh. Okay, double mining. Right now, if they have uh, to ease quick trap. What I've seen some uh, J Sillies do is um a lot of j sillies they 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 don't like throw the trap in front of them they'll do it like mid-air i don't know how wait where were you over here so the minute you dive up here and you see they have a monkey you could probably just drop the trap in mid-air because it's harder to see and leave it here so like um it's dive protection against your support i know if i was an anna i i, I always cross this bridge last and if i can have some sort of protection here against him where he doesn't expect it that'd be pretty good because if he drop it in front of him he's probably just gonna tesla cannon it and he saw you put it down so he won't walk into it that shit has to be sneaky um but anyways because right here it's gonna be part of the tesla cannon yeah he just breaks it yeah exactly all right you know you can control the height you go i'm pretty sure you can reduce the Oh no, can you? Wait, maybe not in Jay Silly. I think you always get bumped 45 degrees. I think you should almost always shoot into mine before you just randomly mine. Nice kill there. Instead of just a naked mine, like that. Unless the kill opportunity is there, but against that full HP Mora, always animation cancel that shot into mine. And you're putting your back towards them. You just have to reset here, that's fine. Next. Okay, helping break the bubble. I like that. Thank you for doing that. Um, oh, we can toss that over. So when 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 you're at a, especially with jump crest, since his projectiles are so slow, the minute you see that Winston leap over, you can do like that. Probably a lot more leftwards over the wall. That's a mine. Okay, you got lucky your, your ball hit him. That, like, right there, because you're reloading, I probably still would have mined it. I always say, like, don't naked mine if you have primary fire, but since you're a mid reload and that McCree was killable, a little bit faster than the TTK. At the higher ranks, like, that McCree might randomly just get healed or something, and then suddenly that kill is gone if you waste opportunity. See, that's a nice, uh, that was a nice, uh, trap that you didn't see there. I think you popped this tire here, yeah. That's big. Nice. You probably drop another trap right there as soon as you came out of it. So one thing I see like Aquamarine and other uh, drunks do before they tire is leave that trap right on their body because they know they get jumped usually. But I don't think you had it though before you tired. Let me check it again. Yeah, you popped the tire. Yeah, you didn't have it. Right there. Probably just drop a trap there or somewhere around here now. Nice. Give yourself some separation. Oh, that's a mine right there on Mercy. That's a missed opportunity. Okay, she still died, but... I think the instinct to mine low HP targets needs to be a bit snappier. So I remember I saw that McCree at like 50 HP. That Mercy flew in front of you at 50 HP. That should be an insta-kill. Instead of taking that chance and trying to land that primary fire, you just want to secure that kill. That's a shot into mine. That was good. Better executed there. I'll probably put a trap around this corner. Probably won't see it. Because you don't have one up right now. Okay. I, don't, I still don't think they saw that one. That one's fine. Yep, just keep spamming. I think this is fine. You can change the angle of them a little bit. I feel like you're shooting like too many of them off the same... Because you're not backwalling them. I remember when I was talking to Jake about Junkrat. Because there's you don't really have like a backwall to splash them off. You can't just chuck them in the same... Well, I mean, you can... 
But I think you can mix it up. Like you're firing some straight, but I think you could probably do a short bounce off this wall to catch people around this corner. Cause like, let's say you're the enemy team. They see, you see the Junkrat stuff. Like if I were an enemy Ana, I'd count five nades before I cross out. If I see two, 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 three, four, five, that's my opening. Cause I know he has to reload. So like, I'd probably hide around here and wait. And then if you just keep tossing them straight past them, they just wait it out. But if you like mix it up and probably bounce off here, then you just randomly tag people around this corner. Cause this would be a popular place. You throw a few to scare them off, to chill around here, but then you, you switch up that bounce there. Nice. So you're playing by that trap. That's good. Hopefully he doesn't land directly on it. So the thing about a, a super close trap like this is if you think he's going to jump into it, that leap breaks it, I think. If he doesn't hit it directly, I'm pretty sure the leap damage snaps it, unless I'm mistaken. How much damage does it take to break the trap? Oh, they broke it. It's too close, like, um, here. My mom dropped something upstairs. Did you guys hear that? I think she's okay, though. It didn't sound too bad. I think she just dropped some cups. Um, what's it called? So the the trap around this like right here kind of gets spammed out because you play around here, which is why like probably around the corner where it can't get spammed out and break, uh, there's a higher chance of catching someone off guard. I think when they play Winston and stuff, like an anti dive trap that's a little further than ahead of where they jump, so you kite into it is pretty good too. But in any case. That's such a clean mind kill in the air. Let me see this one. I totally missed it. Go check. No. If she was in trouble, she she would yell. She still I can hear her like. Well, that was nice. I saw it. Nice tire here. I'm surprised you went for the, the person on the right. Most junks, I would probably go on the left. I know you couldn't see them around the corner, but you know their whole team's following up, right? But when you see like a tank run by in the more, I'm so scared of the bubble because she, she might fade out of it. So it's like right around here. Like, you know their team's following up. I think you could have had the double right here. You would have had, you wanted the support, but more has a fade. A higher percentage chance was to like see that McCree and go for him here, and then you might probably catch that Mercy too. Because I know whenever like the junk tires around the corner, they sometimes go for tank, but like if they feel like they can get a snappier kill in the back line and get a multi kill, it's pretty worth it. I always consider that though. I, I she probably faded in knowing you know what people do here, but just be wary of that. Um, tiring people with escape abilities. Always a bit riskier. You could probably still shoot nade that. I know that's just a na that's a naked mine into it again. I mean, it still killed them, but that's just a free mine right there. Yeah. When they're low like that, you could just free mine it. Sorry, that that Ryan was low, so you could have naked mine that. Okay, so you see this TP here? I know you want to break it, but... Oh, wait, no. What? Where did the sim TP? Oh, that was from her spawn. Okay, yeah. Then you can destroy it there. Because most sims... Wait, what rank is... I? Okay, I think I know what rank this is, but... Most sims, if they're doing this, if they switch to sim at the last second, they probably play it here and then send that TP here so their team could get on point. But I was like, wait, what the fuck? I thought that was the first one, but that's the second one. Interesting. Hey, check the window after. I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. Hold up, hold up. Oh, wait, why'd you throw a mine there? Wait, do you have a trap on the ground here? Have a defensive uh, trap here. You should mine that right away. Right around that corner. And that grab, that mine is still going to do a lot of damage. Nice. You're checking, you're checking. You see this grab with the bubble in the way? I would just swing hard left. It's free. Bonk, bonk. I mean, I think you guys still won anyways, but... Just a couple of, like, missed opportunities. You guys kind of just rolled, so it's hard to, like, pick out too many... ...mistakes, per se, because whatever you chose to do worked out in this situation, but... Um, I just want to point out, like, the missed opportunities, because... 
you know, other than capitalizing on mistakes, like seeing those like extra opportunities is like such a huge way to climb, especially in ranked and JR. Little junk rat in McCree. Like when you watch uh, Wanted or or John play McCree, do you see how he's always like going on these cheeky flanks and angles? Like that shit works in solo queue pretty hard. Swinging wide and catching people off guard. So I like this. That you, there's like different play styles. You, you do it until they punish you. Right? You do it till they punish you. So in this case, like, you're trying something cheeky. Like, I feel like these are the... Solo queue is a perfect place to go and try the stuff out and see how often it works at your ranks. Once you start getting punished for it, when you climb, then you can, like, make adjustments. Nice. See, right there is good. You're reloading. That's a free kill. Nice. Oh, that's a free kill. That's a shot. You should have killed her. That's a shot into mine. There's too many naked mines. The animation cancels literally instant. And you should be backwalling this. Instead of spamming his shield, you should be backwalling it. Because I noticed that um, when people say they, they play Junkrat for shield break, did you know Soldier breaks Junkrat's shield? Uh, Soldier breaks shield faster than Junkrat. When people say, oh, why are we on Soldier? We need shield break. Junkrat's shield breaking potential based on five shots and reload is slower than a lot of other heroes than you think. So you get the benefit, you should like what Jake said in the thing, because he told me that. Um, that's why you back wall, because you always want to be hitting them. With like um, back splashing nades, because even if like it doesn't hit them, it's very likely it'll bounce and hit the shield anyways. So instead of like just shooting straight into the shield, you just shoot behind it. You can mix one up in the front to make sure he holds the shield up, obviously. But if, as long as you throw it behind him off these walls, if not hitting him, it'll still hit the shield and splash on the shield. So you might as well go for it. But yeah, Junkrat shield break is actually not as good as people think. Like it's fine if it's like an Arisa 600 flimsy shield. Yeah, you, but you have to chuck all five into them. But yeah, it's that's just one thing to remember as Junkrat. Nice separation there. Just stay away from the monkey. He fell into the trap. Further. Uh, I feel like you're kind of tunneling with a little bit of uh, stuff going on here. You just pop a tire here once you kill this guy. Nice. Oh, never mind. You win now. Oh. Um, I'm going to unpack this a little bit. Okay, so right here, you see, you took a little too long to like destroy a turret. You don't have to get that close to do it. I guess part of Junkrat is understanding that arc really well and being comfortable with breaking it. Um, you see them getting isolated, you just keep pressuring them on the left and make sure they can't follow up on the run. Because it's very likely that Ryan dies. By the time you make it there to help them, he's probably already dead. So you just cut off the enemy sight lines. Anyways, you're sitting on this tire. Can't believe they turned that shit around. I think you go for it here. You got a res off. Yeah, I think you just pop it. You're already starting to lap your tire. That's good. Nice double kill. Oh, this guy's dead. You guys win this. That's a lot of value. Oh, shield breaking. That's broken. Go up to him. He's got nothing on you. Oh my god, you gotta shoot nade her. What If she was full health and she got that off, I would have been so sad. You're dead. Yeah, the biggest thing is the shot, uh, shot mine animation cancel. That is something I'm not seeing enough of. That, that burst. Like, every time... I, I mean, I didn't see her health bar, unless I'm blind, but... Um, if I don't know their HP, I just go for both. Because it's free. Like, you're going to throw the mine anyways. Might as well add that primary fire just in case. 
Another tire in the back. Okay. You gotta stop this res. Get up there. Put a trap on the body. Put a trap on the body. She might not notice it. Okay, I don't think they're going for the res anyways. That's one thing to remember and think about as Junkrat. Yeah, that, that trap should have came out like five seconds ago. Okay, getting a little cheeky here. I like it. Nice. Gonna say you can have a trap on the ground a little. Get ready to burst her. Oh, she's going for a touch. She's ignoring you. Um, interesting angle. So here's what I would have done here. So as soon as you see that tracer, instead of tunneling onto her, you could probably just assassinate somebody squishy in their back line. Honestly, I would have flanked at this point and just let see somebody else on the point's gonna touch anyways. Instead of tunneling on tracer, which is hard to hit as drunk rat, you sneak behind here, don't fire yet, get up close. Get up close, and you shot burst them, and then you kill the the the, the Baptiste. She probably would have popped Valk. You get this huge angle on the back that they can't check for. Because this isn't this isn't Grandmaster, so one of the biggest things to climb is to capitalize on people tunnel visioning. Like I remember when I made that video with Funny Astro on Lucio, he literally just sits in the back and spawn camps and assassinates backlines because they don't check for him. And especially here, when you know it's going to be overtime and their tracers panicking to touch, everyone's like, "Oh my god, touch, touch, touch!" They're just going to look straight. A lot of people in a lot of ranks, even in Grandmaster, don't look around. I remember there's times when I'm playing support, I'm like coming out of spawn, I'm reading chat and I turn around and then there's just like a tracer. I've been spawn camped by a Lucio, I've been spawn camped by a Junkrat. They just kill me in the back. And I think you had an opportunity there because um, the tracer blinked past you and no one's checking for you. And then you could have potentially killed two. Not saying it would have been a better play, like you might have fucked up the combo and then ruined it all. But those are one of the gambles you should probably attempt to do. And uh, add that to your arsenal. Take advantage of that kind of stuff. I think if you watch a couple of Junkrat streamers, they don't do it as much at the highest ranks for that reason. But if you ever watch an unranked to GM Junkrat, that shit probably exists somewhere on YouTube. I'm sure you're going to see them do this a lot because it's, you can punish people in all the metal ranks with that kind of stuff. And Yidl spawn camps on ball a lot, yeah. Like, I know it punished a bit more in GM, but you can do this comfortably up to diamond. And I know you're not diamond because I know you rank. Or, or, or masters or whatever so it's just a few missed opportunities but yeah you guys kind of just rolled it was a bit closer but you guys kind of owned so yeah the biggest thing to take away was just that mechanical animation cancel stuff um probably some more aerial traps in the sky because that's what i like i don't play junk rap but i've seen how some of them play they always put I, I like almost never see them physically put the traps down Right, and I feel like you forget about it, and then if I see you toss it down, I don't walk into it. But yeah, when I play against the high rank junk rats, like, I, like, why is this trap here? When did he put it there? And then when I watch the replay, this guy like flies into the air and like flings the trap because it's so hard to see when it's dropping because it's silent. Um, and then uh, looking for more opportunities on these angles. But the biggest thing was mechanically, yeah, the animation cancel stuff, back wall splashing against shielded targets. And yeah, seeing seeing the extra opportunities, but that won't come like that. That comes with experience and at least trying it out. You won't ever see these like opportunities unless you like decide to try that kind of shit. And once you try it, then you like add those data points to your head. I say that all the time. Data points. Ha ha ha. Okay. In any case, thank you for submitting. I didn't roast you as much as I thought I would. Rush, what's up? All right. I think the tournament's starting. Har blue? We're adding har blue. Hold on, let me message them. Okay, what's this stream? Elo Hell. Is the game where you had to be comp? Not necessarily, but it probably helps. Oh, Elo Hell Esports. Uh, 
Uh, oh yeah, too many people to know your rank to guess. Oh yeah, we have to guess the rank. Uh, chat, what do you think the rank of that junk row is? Of Idis's junk rat. Grandmaster. 2675. Bronze. Silver. Plat. Twenty four hundred, twenty one gold, fifteen. All right, what is your rank? I just tell everybody else in the chat. Twenty one hundred on PC, thirty fifty on PS four. There it is.